exhibit at the Amistad Center of Art and Culture gives visitors a closer look inside the minds and homes of notable black history makers and celebrations honoring the 50th year of the hip hop genre now coming to the capital city this morning. We are joined by Matthew Marshall, the center's deputy director and the first hip hop troubadour of an American city, Kaim Kelly. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a really pleasure. excited to hear about this. So uh, first up, we're going to talk about the exhibit. Now, the exhibit is called Love Overflowing, Home and the Decor of Freedom. So what can visitors expect with that? Sure. Um, with this exhibition, we hope to show how uh, black Americans have used their home and in particular the decor that they surround themselves with to tell the story of of how far they've come um, since the Emancipation Proclamation mm -hmm. and where they are today. Um, so the exhibition opens with an engraving of this fictionalized view of the Emancipation Proclamation reading um, done by a Hartford engraver. Very excited oh, nice. about that. Nice, nice local connection. And then we have some great um, images from contemporary artists and um, they really tug on your heartstrings and speak to like this nostalgia of a bygone era. Um, what we've learned from past generations and how it's reflected who we are today. Awesome, awesome. Now, what do you hope folks walk away with once they go through the exhibit? I think we hope that people will realize that we're all kind of curators in our own sense, in our, mm. with our own homes and our own surroundings. Mm -hmm. And what we choose very strategically to surround ourselves with tells a story. And so um, we want to inspire folks to just be cognizant of that and then go home and look at your own surroundings mm -hmm. and say, what would what would someone say or learn about me having visited my space? Right. Now, my place has a, I'm a plant girly. I'm a new plant mom. I'm learning uh... how to do all that. <laughs> So yeah, your home definitely says a lot about you. Now you guys are also celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop. We've seen a lot of events throughout the year. Uh, first up, Kaim, tell us what does a hip hop troubadour entail? A hip hop troubadour is someone who does emceeing and tells a story and, um, but instead of just strict standards poetry, we put it in bars. Okay. That you could listen to in cars and reminisce under the stars and okay, stuff like that. Okay, I see what you did there. And, and we curate <laughs> things like we're doing at the Amistad. Amistad Center is letting us um, talk about what went into creating hip hop, the yep. parts that people usually don't think of when they think of hip hop. Mm -hmm. um, Double Dutch, which is literal hip hop. Participants are going to get to make medallions, stuff like that oh, that they can take nice. away. Do call. So you get to interact and engage. And um, I think it's appropriate that it's right there with the with the Love Overflowing exhibit because hip hop didn't have a home in a lot of these institutions at first. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to see how it created a home. They're letting us bring Abio Dun Oye Wole from the last poets who was here before hip hop even existed. So he can talk about why there was a need to hip hop, how it emerged from the civil rights struggle as an alternative to gang violence, as an alternative to respectability politics. These things that you usually don't get to hear about, and it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna be dancing, and we're gonna be rapping. So this is something that I'm, I'm really privileged to be able to do, and I think that's what a hip, a hip hop troubadour should do, but I'm the first one, yeah. so hopefully they will continue to do these things and get these opportunities that I've been given. You're setting the path. Yeah. All right, now we do have to head out, but very quickly, uh, the exhibit. Yes, Exhibit Love Overflowing opens today and goes through mid-May. And then the hip-hop celebration. Thursday, November 2nd. Hopefully we'll see Symphony there. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's it's going to be evening, but not too late. So okay. check out amistadcenter.org. All righty. Thank you guys for joining thank us. Thank you for Sounds having like us. so much fun. Thank you thank so you. much.